Okay. <clears throat> that wasn't too big of a hiccup, which was very interesting that we even had a hiccup since I had a perfect signal. Completely dropped. Attempting to connect. All green. Excellent. And then, oh, drop. Anyway, we're back here. So... The person who was supposed to be taking care of the situation was a prostitute. And that was, the, and, and that was likely the conditions in Chicago that they made you get into at that time. So again, Red Fox was my grandfather, F-O-X-X. -X. He was hung in a tree. I never saw it. I don't think. I don't remember ever seeing anything like it. But I probably did. I probably woke up and saw it. Now that I'm saying that, I probably woke up and saw something swinging in a tree that I thought was a ghost. So that's what they, and they cut down the tree. And I was so mad because I knew they weren't telling us something. So I, I ran around and I said, why don't you cut down that tree? Why don't you cut down that tree? And we all got around the tree, just like in Virgin Suicides. We all got around the tree. I don't know if that happened. I really don't know if that happened. The virgin suicides. I really don't know if that happened. But I do know, I feel like I do know that I have had the experience of trying to lift somebody up who's been hung. That I, that I know. I had that experience. That was also at our neighbor's house as well it, when we were um, in West Bloomfield on Mercedes. I know that I have got the memory of trying to lift their son up, and they wouldn't help, and they knew. They saw it. They saw it. They called me in there on purpose. They wanted my, me to lift him up and off and have him laying on the bed as if it looked like I did something. I mean, set up all my life why would that possibly be well it might have something to do with fox f-o-x-x -X, which who took off that second x might have something to do with that right might have something to do with red fox may have been the guy hanging in that tree All kinds of things, right? All kinds of things. So, you can see, again, online that process with me, right? So, now, did I think about Red Fox? Yeah, yesterday. I watched Red Fox yesterday. So, that thought came to me yesterday about the FOXX. So, you didn't see that in real time, all right? That was yesterday, and it was last night, and it was late last night, later last night. When I started, when I watched his show, it came to me. And I remember when I was a kid, when that ex disappeared. And something about that fortune that they were trying to take away, right? So, yeah, they cut down that tree. Now, so I'm reliving, a, oh, come on. I was screaming because I saw something hanging in the tree out the window. They were going to charge my dad for taking down that tree too, wouldn't you know it? City of Fremont was going to charge him for, for, for removing that tree that somebody hug, hung his father in. And this was in 1970 in Fremont, Michigan, lynched his dad in a tree in 1970 in Fremont, Michigan. So 
what is truth? You can believe something in your heart, but not your head. And that's the thing that motivates us, is what is in our hearts, not our heads. And by the grace of God, we only call up that memory in our heads when it is necessary to get something done related to it. When it's necessary, when the information is necessary to call up. Otherwise, please don't let me ever see a picture of a man swinging from a rope in a tree. Right? Who would... I mean, come on. A little girl seeing that in 1970. A little girl. I was supposed to be, I don't know what my age was, but at that time I was five. And I think at the most I was seven. If I saw papers, I think papers put me a little bit older than I actually am if I saw papers. So see how you could take truths like that? And it's, and it's not because I'm drugged, although... <laughs> It's not because I'm drugged, by any means. Killer Tuesdays are a time to reveal, not a time to partake. Or any other day, right? I mean, I, I did learn from that man that MD meant mental defect. That man I knew as my father, whose father, Red Fox, taught him that. I know. I know. Uh, Lamont Williams died a heroin addict and I believe that was Red Fox's son and you could see um, certainly I mean because what you're talking about are people who are just basically taking their seed and putting it in a super soaker right so that all kinds of people then could attach themselves to you like leeches through all the DNA, right? Well, we can weed them out, right? Like moss to a flame. We all know. We can all figure out why people are here and why they're not. Not that difficult. That kind of sixth sense we've had for a very long time. So what are we learning here today? We're learning that we do not need to relive the trauma. That there is a process that is in place. It wasn't the process I thought of. It was a process that was thought of by Ed Smith from transformationprayer.org. I have, as Ed Smith said, I have, you know, taken it and I change it. I, I give you some emphasis. He gives you lots and lots of scripture. And in addition, I do believe he calls himself an evangelical. And I do believe that his son might be radical. I don't know. I don't know, but that does not taint the message. It doesn't, well, it does taint it, but it, it doesn't um, obscure the message. It doesn't, uh, we don't throw the message out because the deliverers, we make, we make lemon out of lemonade is what we do, right? That's what, that's what Romans 12, 8 says, right? All things work for good for those who, who love and are called to his plan. So I'm going to take four days to uh, get my PowerPoints more up to date and square. I will probably be back with more of my book, although I am feeling such trepidation because I told you I know this book and guess who's appearing? Anonymous. Who, who my sister sold my diary that home had almost nearly there was nearly nothing in it except for that scene with Jack that was the only sex scene that was in it and that was it and Jack was stalking me I didn't even exactly know it but whoever set us up there to go on that trip and I can't remember who it was but I think I do know who it was I think I do know we know her now as Miranda, but, you know, my heart actually says that she's doing the right thing. She was waiting for the sign, and the sign was 
She is so sexy. Were you a model before? <laughs> she didn't believe it. So she wanted me to say it again. And so she got it. And she got it when it was most authentic as well. I said, I'll say it again, you know, 50 years from now. And it'll sound just as authentic. But I can't just say it. I will. Mm. And I did. And I did. Let's not forget the most important part. I did. Mm-hmm. A woman who didn't believe it. She was. And she knew I said it with all sincerity. And then said it to a mere stranger 40 years later. And with the same amount of sincerity. I think she was astounded. So was I. I, I felt lucky that I, that I had that memory. Because then the whole thing came into play. I know what I did to your dads. And I know what your dads did to you. Or they were your mothers. I'm not sure. I think it was your mom, wasn't it? I think it was your mom, and I think that I couldn't deal with it knowing it was your mom, and neither could your mom. And I, So you protected your mom, and your dad had to take the hit, which was okay, because your dad should have said something. He should have known. Maybe he didn't. I don't know. I didn't know things right. Maybe he forgot like I did. Hmm. But she came, the mom came flying out, right? And I'm pretty sure, no, I'm pretty sure she didn't admit it. She was going to let Frank die. That's what I remember. <coughs> I have a picture of her on the Freedom's website, too that we were talking about last hour. This is Dr. Not Fair, which I'm going to wrap it up here, right? Little daydreaming in the middle of our DIY. This is the reason why we have actually taken our spiritual classroom, if you remember, has really sort of um, turned into a DIY. But we really do need a, a, a way to find God in a mechanical way wouldn't it be easy here's the instructions to find god oh they were in the bible don't get it no comprendo okay all right dr nefarovich whoo i think i'll be back here oh oh anonymous i don't even want to say her name because uh, i don't i i it makes me want to vomit. But I will tell you something. We paid her to leave. And she did. Because <laughs> she's a coward. And she's back. Imagine that. Imagine that. Jeez. Jeez. Ah. More. Thoughts that I cannot handle. All right, Dr. Matt Farage, thanks for joining me. I will see you back here. Killer Tuesdays in engaging. What's killer about them? Are these, is this another mis murder mystery series? No, but I do have hmm, murder mysteries someplace else. Adios! Adios! <laughs>